Well, y'all, we have got to get into this trailer for the new season of Love and Marriage Huntsville. Well, let me say the final half of season four, okay? Because as you guys know, we just watched the mid-season finale for season four. And we have about a two-month long break because Love and Marriage Huntsville will be back on September the 10th. But... In the meantime, we've got some great content from the new trailer and it looks epic, okay? It looks epic, it looks lit, and we are finally going to be getting the scene that everyone was talking about on social media a few weeks ago of the altercation between Melody Holt as well as Miss Wanda and then Martell getting into it with the Scots, okay? So it is going down in the trailer. We're gonna get that. And I don't know if you guys listened to the podcast episode that I did on reality with the King, with Carlos King, but he actually gave us a little bit of information about when exactly we will see that footage. And it will be sooner than you guys think. Okay, so actually, let's go ahead and stage dive right on into what we got to talk about with this trailer, because listen, it was so lit. I was like, what? I wasn't even ready. I was not ready. I'm always so annoyed when I'm on vacation and the news is jumping like this because I be wanting to like go live. But, you know, because I'm moving and I'm kind of fluid, I'm like, oh, my God, I got to wait. But anyway, let's dive in. So, of course, at the end of the episode, we get this preview and it's everywhere right now. But it says later this season on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And of course, we pick up with where we were with the couple's trip with the couples who are seeing Dr. Francis. And Dr. Francis is literally getting into Tiffany and Lewis. And he's kind of confronting them about actually speaking what's really on their minds because as Kimmy calls out, you know, you guys have been showing us in conversation some level of dissension. But here, Tiffany and Lewis were presenting this united front as if there were no issues. So the doctor is like, listen, I'm going to cut right through all of that. OK, we're going to cut through all of this and we're going to get down to the nitty gritty. And that's exactly what they needed to be doing there. And so as you guys can see, the rest of the couples look a little bit shocked. And so Lewis, the next day, is looking upset. He's like, you know, how is it that in about six seconds, this doctor is going to come and analyze me and talk about, you know, um, how, how fake my marriage is or whatever. Well, he didn't use those words, but those are the words that Marceau is going to use. And Kimmy is like, well, you did the same thing to Marceau. And Marceau asked the Tiffany and Lewis, well, how does it feel to be clinically diagnosed as fake? And you know, he had been dying to use that one ever since that moment happened. Let me tell you something. As much as I know that Marceau got into Lewis about what they went through last season, I know that Marceau has been waiting for the moment to pounce back onto that situation. And this just gave him the ammunition, okay? And to be quite honest with you, Lewis ain't really got much to say about that because, I mean, Kimmy was right, okay? He did jump all up into their relationship after knowing the Scots for about 2.5 seconds. But we on a reality TV show. You're supposed to give your opinion. So he was doing his job. Allegedly, okay. Um, at least th what I get from Kimmy and Marceau, not Kimmy and Marceau, but Marceau and Letitia, is that there's a lot of realness. I don't know, it feels more real to me than when I'm watching Lewis and Tiffany. And I know I go in about this quite a lot, but I'm like, y'all just don't give me authentic. I don't know what it is. Everybody else to me feels very authentic except the two of them. So, anyway. We next get a scene with Letitia talking to Martell about Miss Van. So apparently Miss Van had posted a screenshot from the show of Letitia wearing the team wife t-shirt. And I guess she posted it on social media. I'm not really sure. 
what the scenario was but if you guys know chime down in the chatterization because i know a lot of y'all be catching a lot of this tea okay and so you know martell is kind of coy about the whole situation and so then we get melody you know talking to miss van about what happened with the photo so apparently kimmy screenshotted the photo that miss van posted went back and showed it to Letitia. Now, Melody is letting Miss Van know this, and Miss Van is kind of like, well, you know, um, I would like to talk to Kimmy about that face to face when I see her, okay? But at the end of the day, whether or not it was Kimmy that shared it, it was going to get back to Letitia. So it's not like she wouldn't see it because it's on a public platform. But anyway. So you have Melody asking, well, are you sure you weren't being shady when you posted that? And her mom is like, basically, well, I figured it was good marketing, something to that effect. So I'm like, I don't know. It was Miss Van being shady. I mean, you know, she goes on to say that everybody else has been able to blast people on social media. But, you know, I guess she hasn't really done it. So I guess this is her time to do it. I don't really know. But we'll definitely see the fallout from that. Apparently, Marceau claps back by posting a photo of a Coke bottle and then either tagging Miss Van or putting her name under it. So I'm like, are you calling the woman a Coke bottle? Is that what we're saying? I, I really don't know. And then he basically makes a comment about, I don't know if he's telling Letitia to comment under the post. I don't know what he's telling her, but another war is brewing, okay? So next we have Melody and Martell filming together yet again. Mm -hmm. And so he's talking about the progress they're making, but Melody's like, yo, have you heard that Miss Wanda is still talking about our kids basically stating or alleging that Melody doesn't know who the actual baby baby's daddy is for their youngest child? I don't really like that type of stuff to me because I feel like Kids, especially young kids, I mean, actually anybody under the age of 18, to be quite honest with you, should be off limits in conversation. Now, I understand that Miss Wanda is coming from the standpoint of, well, you talk about my daughter, but your daughter's an adult, okay? So that's a different situation. If you're talking about a kid, it's like, Miss mm, Wanda, Miss Wanda, listen, Miss Wanda, you know I like you, but I got to tell you, you wrong on this one. This is this, this, that's, that's, that's going to a place where, you know, people get fired up when you start talking about their kids, especially because the kids can't really defend themselves like adults can. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, I digress. So once she tells him that, he's like, what? So apparently this is, this next scene is the day of the Madani event. And apparently destiny had invited because we haven't seen destiny in a while now i don't know if you guys peeped that or not but we ain't seen her in a minute we actually haven't seen stormy in a minute either so i'm like will we see more of them but anyway so apparently destiny had invited miss wanda and her food truck so i guess the food truck did come to fruition or at least she was out there selling i, I don't know if i saw a truck or not but whatever she was out there with some food so you see melody enter madani which is destiny's you know business or whatever and so apparently <laughs> melody bypasses destiny altogether hugs kimmy collects martell and they head out of the store and destiny's like i know she didn't just come up in my store and not speak to me how you gonna come into my store and not speak to me okay but Melody was like, I don't see you, okay? And walk right on out. And so you see Destiny yell out the window like, yo, if you're gonna walk up into my space, you could at least speak or whatever. And Melody's like, I'm not giving you any moments today, okay? I'm not giving you a moment today because I'm about to go have a moment with Miss Wanda. So I don't have time for you today. Um. And so Destiny yells at her that, yo, well, I should have had you kicked out by security like you had Letitia kicked out circa season two. OK, so Destiny took it back. It's so funny. You know how people watch the show and then they get on the show. 
and then they can recall something that happened before they got on the show. That, 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 that is kind of funny though, now you think about it. But anyway, so after that, that's when you see Melody roll up on Miss Wanda and basically get to talking and asking questions about what Miss Wanda had to say about their youngest. And she's like, you always got a lot to say, but I'm in your face right now. So let's get it popping with this conversation. And so, you know, Miss Wanda is not going to back down from any fight. And she continues to go in about the paternity of Melody's youngest child. So that is not going to go too well at all. OK, because listen, you know, you can't talk about somebody's kids, especially you can't talk about somebody's kids to their face. OK, so as you guys can see in this scene, you have got Melody, Miss Van, you got Miss Wanda, Letitia, Marceau, Uncle Bernard, and Melody and Miss Wanda are getting in, in each other's faces. So you got that popping off. You got people breaking that up. You see Martel running up into the mix because he's like, no, nah, like I'm we about, we about to get about it about it right now. And so then you see Maurice. I guess he's trying to break it up or pull Martel or push Martel to the to the back because Martel is arguing with somebody. And so then they end up scrapping. And so next thing you know, all both of the Scott brothers are up into it. Kimmy's trying to pull Marceau back. And you got all this tussling going on, producers up in the mix, and it's getting insane. And so the next thing we see is remember that moment when we saw the IG story of melody having that conversation in the car and then she had to go running out and all we heard was her screaming in the background so this is that scene right here okay so she's running chasing somebody next thing you know you see marceau yelling and screaming and cursing and all kinds of things and let me tell you something it is pure pandemonium okay so again if you listen to that podcast with Carlos King, you will know exactly when in the next season, well, in the rest of this season, when you're going to see that. Oh, let me go ahead and tell you, you're going to see it probably in the first episode. OK, so mark your calendars for September 10th because it's about to go down. So listen, that is my these are my thoughts on the trailer for the new season. Well, I keep saying new season because I guess it's, it's going to feel like a new season because we will have had a break. Right but for the second half of season four, okay? What are your thoughts on the trailer? What did you think about everything and how it went down? I can't wait to hear what you guys think. Let me know in the comment section down below and I will catch you guys in the next video.